the bass I'm using is um, the Simon Golden Signature Six String by uh, Dalmado Custom Guitars uh, up in Preston in Lancashire. Um, Tito Dalmado, who um, who made this, um, I approached him because he used to do all my repairs. And I went to his house one day, and I saw all these guitars hung up. And I actually said to him, "Are they are they for sale? Did you buy them?" He said, "No, I actually I made the guitar." I said, "Really?" <laughs> And then I thought about it and thought about it, and I've always wanted a bass made. So I approached him um, about making me an instrument. And it took, I think it took about 14 to 15 months um, to complete from planning it on paper to uh, actually getting the finished, the finished bass, um, which was really exciting. I couldn't, I couldn't wait to, uh, to get my hands on it because I was following each every process of the um, of the build and it was just f fascinating to watch him uh, from drawing it on paper to um, each stage was fascinating for me I, I really loved it and um, he's a fantastic fantastic luthier and a really great guy the bass is a multi-laminate body so we've got ash and mahogany wings and the same in the centre section and a cockerbull or front and back with a flame maple neck with French walnut pinstripes and a nice big ebony nice big 24 fret ebony board on the headstock it's the same it's the cockerbull or front which took us a while to find um, because we, we we found this really nice piece with the uh, with the grain with the white grain there running through, and as soon as we saw it, we decided to put it on the headstock. Um, the hardware, Goto tuners, um, ABM bridge. That was another thing trying to find trying to find the right bridge. We uh, we looked at a few, and the the ABM one was the only one we could find which would accommodate the extra wide string spacing I wanted um, it was the same with the pickups as well which are Bartolini P5s um, we had to we needed to find the pickups and the bridge to accommodate like I said the the extra wide string spacing that I wanted hence the the fingerboard had to be custom cut over in India um, because we wanted it custom spacing I can't remember the the measurements off the top of my head but Tito knows um, the preamp I want to talk about is um, is by a company called Taurus a really great company over in Poland um, this is the TM the TM1 um, so you've got the volume push pull which is passive active you've got the blend and you've got the treble and the bass and this is a punch switch which kind of like gives you extra punch of the of the mid uh, which makes certain not really really not stand out especially if you're soloing and playing playing with the thumb um, and it's a really good design because each pot has its own module uh, it's not all on one complete printed circuit which a lot of a lot of preamps are each pot has its individual module um, which link together on a cable so um, troubleshooting is fantastic um, you can really isolate the price if any kind of problems go wrong with it and it just sounds really really good really clean it doesn't color your sound you get you get the sound the way um, the way the luthier and the way you wanted it you know it doesn't color it at all it just gets the sound of the bass which is fantastic it runs off two nine volt batteries um, and there you have it, I mean it's a fantastic instrument, really really comfortable to play um, and that's it, I'm going into the Taurus Cube 450 head into the 112 cab um, and again there's no sound colouring which you tend to get with quite a few other um, speakers and, and amps it just really faithfully re recreates the sound of your instrument which is what every musician wants really 
So yeah, that's the bass made by Tito Dalmedo up in Preston. Go and check him out. <laughs> <laughs>